Hello everyone. Uh, I'll I'm here to try and help you uh, fix the error 1058 which appears when you try and start the Windows Update service. So this this prevents you this error prevents you from updating your Windows and it might be the case for you like it was for me that I have many Windows update pending and I am maybe not able to update to Windows 11 whatever is the reason. So we'll. I'll first go through the common methods which are suggested in other places as well uh, just for in case you are, you have not gone through them and you are searching for the first time maybe they work for you and if none of them have worked for you like it did not for me so I'll suggest you the final fix which I am pretty sure in case of Windows 10 it will work for you so let's go into it let's start with the common methods that are suggested so sorry uh, so we'll go to update so first method which is usually so, so as you can see that I'm downloading all these pending updates and I just figured out a way to fix it so the first method which is suggested is to run the troubleshooter it has not worked for most people but maybe it does for you so uh, you go to troubleshooter then you go to additional troubleshooters uh, you go to windows update and you run the troubleshooter so likely it will not work but it does good for you next way to fix this is uh, you go to services you run them as administrator you go to the windows update service this is the one where you feel there so as you can see it is running in my case so it might be that it is not running in your case it is stopped and when you try to turn it to automatic either it shows the error 1058 or it runs for a second and then it immediately turns off by itself so for that uh, you go to the dependencies and you will see you expand this that it suggests two services on which it is dependent dcom server and rpc so you go go to these services dcom and you, you have to make sure that these two services are running so TCOM and the other one whichever it was so you make sure these two are running and then you if it was stopped in your case you try you run them turn them to automatically run them and then you go back and try and run this uh, windows update again if that doesn't work for you so I'll just maybe just show you once for people who are not very well versed with these services and how to handle them so dcom services you go and so in your case it will be showing uh, so you change this to automatic you apply and then you start the service if it is stopped in you if it is showing like this then nothing to worry and similarly other services which was suggested so if this doesn't this doesn't work for you then the next uh, method is to go to your c drive you go to your windows yeah you go to your go to software distribution so it will be something like this you delete this like really delete it permanently and from your recycle bin as well I'm not doing it because it's there's no issue in my laptop so you delete it from your uh, this thing and uh, you restart your system and then you try to run it again if that doesn't work as well then you, <coughs> you go to registry editor so you type reg you will go get this you run this as administrator so here it will not be expanded in your case so it will be collapsed so you go to first h key local machine you expand it next you go to system expand it again you go to current control set expand it next services expand it then finally you go to yeah you go to w u a U S E R V the service expand it and when you click on this don't expand it you just click on it 
you go to start double click on it and you set it to 2 and you press ok so once you do it then press start again so if it is not changing back you do it two three times if it is not changing back then maybe it should work and then you go to services and then you try starting it again it might be the case that was happening in with me as well that when you change it to two and then you restart it it will change back to four so if that is not happen if that is happening with you or despite changing it to two it is still going back it is not re so the services are not starting the windows update then i'll suggest you the final so maybe you have been till this point in other videos or other links as well so this is the final solution for windows 10 you go to services run it as administrator and i'm pretty sure this will work for you this was the one which was you go to top updates 10 card you go to properties and you disable the services service. if this has been enabled in your laptop that means that that was the issue that was a whole issue the entire time so you you go here and you disable it and this should definitely fix it disable it stop it uh, and then apply it and press ok and then you go back to your windows services and then you start it and it should definitely uh, sorry windows update service and then it should definitely change to automatic you apply it and then you can go to windows updates and all the updates will start happening so yeah i hope uh, this will work for you